Well, we're looking at already now a Category 3 hurricane. Uh, the other thing about Irene is it's actually growing in size. The actual wind field is going to get bigger. So even though, you know, people are looking at that track and going, well, it doesn't look like it's going to get too close to me, you've got to remember this is a big storm. So pretty much from the Carolinas through the mid-Atlantic all the way through the uh, New England states, this is a storm we've got to pay attention to because we may potentially have impacts over a large area. Well, I think, again, you know, with hurricanes in particular, the first thing we want people to focus on are those on the coastal areas, do you live in an evacuation zone? I mean, a lot of people focus on the wind, but the real killer from hurricanes has historically been storm surge. So find out if you're in an evacuation zone and make your plans to evacuate if local evacuation orders are required. That's not going to come from the federal government. It's going to come from your local officials. But the other thing is people talk about we haven't had one in a long time. We hadn't had experience. Well, I think the earthquake yesterday kind of also points out that the East Coast may not have a lot of earthquakes, but when you do have one, you've got to be ready. So, again, we ask people to get prepared, pay attention to Irene. And if you've got your supplies and you've done your plans, really what you're doing now is just going through your daily routines but keeping an eye on the storm and listening to local officials if Irene does impact your community. And again, this is the part about hurricane preparedness. If I'm prepared, my family knows what the plan is, we know what to do, we live our lives and we continue to do every day what we were going to do. But we're ready just in case the storm gets closer and we do have to get ready or we do have to evacuate. We know what to do. And that's the key about you know, dealing with disasters. The better prepared you are, the more control you have, and the better your options are when a disaster happens. Those that wait to the last minute will find the shelves empty and bare. Those that wait to evacuate the last minute are going to find the traffic jams great. And those that don't have a place to go may find themselves on the road without a clear destination wondering how far that storm is behind them. Get prepared now. Know what you're going to do. It gives you more options and gives you more control in situations that can become chaotic at the last moment if you're not ready.